Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to walk through installing Spark on Windows. I know this is a real pain in the ass for some people. At least it, it sort of was for me. Um, sort of a pain in the ass. It was a pain in the ass. Um, so let's start. We're going. To, I'm at the Spark homepage, spark.apache.org. Um, sure, you're probably familiar with this. We're going to go over to download. Very, very complicated, I know. Um, and this, this is the critical step that I miss. You have these options here for download Spark. In this case, the release is 1.3.1, but I, you may be watching this later and it may be something else. I'm guessing this view will probably look similar. Um, I'm going to go here to choose a package type. The default is source code. If you download the source code, you'll have to build it. And I think you build uh, Spark with a Java tool called Maven. I, I think it's Java, Maven. I don't know what the fuck Maven is. I'm an Excel guy. Uh, I don't know why the default setting is source code. Um, if you're like me, you probably downloaded this once or twice and then weren't able to run Spark, even though all the instructions say it's easy. So, you know, fuck that. That's wrong. We're going to pick uh, pre-built, and I'm just going to click on the 2.4 and later. I don't, for Hadoop, I don't think it matters. I'm installing it locally on Windows. I do not have Hadoop installed on my Windows laptop. Um, but I, let's just pick one. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll fucking see what happens. I don't know. Um the next option, choose a download type. I'm going to say direct download. And then here is the, uh, the tar file or the tar TGZ file, whatever the fuck that means. Um, I'll click on it and download it. So this will take a few minutes to download. When it's finished downloading, um, check back in with me.